Сьогодні ми вітаємо в нашій студії Рустема Ірсаєва, голову Канадської асоціації кримських татар та члена виконавчої ради Всесвітнього конгресу кримських татар. Рустем нещодавно повернувся з України, де він приймав участь як делегат від Канади на Всесвітньому конгресі кримських татар. Рустем, welcome to Forum TV. Thank you for having me. You've just returned from taking part in the meeting of the Coordination Council of the World Congress of Crimean Tatars in Hinichisk. Can you tell us who participated in the Congress and what were the results of the meeting? So it was our third meeting of the Coordination uh, Council. Uh, the, in the summer, in August, we had the Second World War Congress of Crimean Tatars. First was four years ago in the Bakhchisarai, Crimea. And uh, this year, uh, because we couldn't do it in annexed, annexed uh, and occupied Crimea, we decided to do it in uh, Turkey. On the Congress, Coordination Council was uh, created. There are also 15 members of uh, different organizations from around the world, from Turkey, from uh, Eastern Europe, from uh, Poland, uh, Germany, from France, US, and me from Canada. Can you tell us a bit more about the roadmap that was adopted at the meeting? We talked about uh, the education, uh, then uh, religious uh, sphere, recognition of uh, Crimean Tatar genocide uh, on the government level, uh, Verkhovna Rada and uh, like uh, governments of different countries. And uh, also we decided to do the, the fourth meeting in uh, Vilnius in uh, April 16th. In your opinion, what role should the government of Ukraine play in facilitating the process of liberating and reintegrating Crimea? I think the Ukrainian government is first who, is, who, who have to work on it. President Poroshenko declared this year as a year of liberating of Crimea. That's a good news. But so far, during two years, uh, Ukrainian government didn't do so much uh, on this issue. As we know, the blockade which happened uh, last two months on the border with Crimea was created by volunteers and uh, civil organizations. Ukraine uh, doesn't supply uh, Crimea with anything. Uh, no goods and no hydro, no power. The main goal of the Majlis to make uh, Russia to spend more money uh, for the Crimea. Now let's touch upon the recent energy and trade blockade organized by the Crimean Tatar activists. You have friends and family in Crimea. How do they feel about the blockade? Do they feel like they were betrayed by Ukraine? Mostly Crimean Tatars support this blockade. There is no power, there is uh, no electricity, but uh, people say it's okay, we can survive in any conditions, we bought generators, we are pretty good, just do everything to liberate our homeland, our Crimea. In your opinion, what should the Ukrainian community and the Crimean Tatar community in Canada do to help resolve the Crimea crisis? We have to try with all Ukrainian organizations uh, bring this question again uh, to the top level of agenda and uh, if possible help uh, Crimean Tatar nation, uh, Crimean Tatar Majlis financially and recognize the genocide of Crimean Tatar people uh, by the Canadian government. With the second anniversary of annexation approaching, is the Canadian Association of Crimean Tatars planning any public awareness events? Yes, we are planning one big event, but uh, I can't tell about this now. And uh, of course, we will have a meeting in front of Russian consulate uh, to uh, tell uh, Russia and to tell the whole, whole world that uh, we are fighting. So we will fight till uh, Crimea will be liberated. Rustem, thank you for sharing your insights with our viewers. Thank you so much for inviting me.